Since the uh, frothing thing in my espresso machine broke, I spent $10 on this Xylus milk frother, and I thought, well, I have no idea if these things work well. I got it at Bed Bath, or Be Bed Bath & Beyond. It takes two batteries that go in here, so I'm going to show you how it works. I have some hot milk in this little container here, but I want to adjust the camera real quick so that you can really see inside what I'm doing. The key with this thing is that you only fill your little pitcher, or what in the instructions they call a beaker, with one quarter of the way with milk. So it's only a quarter full. You put this in, and then it says to run it around the bottom for about 30 seconds. So I'm going to speed this up because I don't want you to have to watch this for 30 seconds. Once 30 seconds are up, it says you can pull it up and down to get it to froth even more. So you can see it's considerably covering more than just one quarter of this little pitcher. And this is the pitcher that came with my espresso machine years ago. So that is the froth milk and I like how easy this is to work with. The trick is to not put too much milk in the pitcher at a time, otherwise other it's going to be overflowing. And to position this thing at the bottom and to pull it up to get the froth. All right. Thanks for watching. I've heated just over two cups of water in a tea kettle to boiling. And then you want it to sit for at least 10 seconds. And I have a French press here. And the rule of thumb is one tablespoon of